What is up my fishy friends? My name is Willie, but you can call me Whitefish. This video, um, I am gonna be pole vaulting. So in high school, when I ran track, pole vault was like my main thing that I did. Um, I wasn't great, but I was, I was all right. And I haven't pole vaulted, you know, in competition in a while because I did it my junior year. So it's been like five years roughly since I've pole vaulted. And so the best I ever got in meat, I believe was 10 and a half feet. So I'm gonna see if I can come out of retirement today and if not beat 10 and a half feet, see how close I can get to beating 10 and a half feet. So um, Dane is with, cause I've been teaching him how to pole vault. He's pretty pumped because He's uh, only been pole vaulting for a couple days now and he's already clearing seven feet, so he's pretty pumped. But uh, he's gonna be the cameraman. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off at six feet. Um, should, be, should be pretty easy. Oh. Uh. Okay, Dane abandoned me on camera, man, because he wants to go do high jump, yeah, so... I'm lazy. So, I'm gonna set the tripod up and, uh, just let it go. We'll see, uh, like I said, seven feet is next. So, uh, we'll see. That wasn't a very good jump, but, uh, that was seven feet. Bump it up to eight. So 10 feet, I know for sure that uh, I used to get 10 feet in high school at the meets, but I always had a hard time clearing anything higher than 10 feet. Um, and that is because when I pole vault, or when I pole vaulted, and even now still, I was watching some of the footage back and I'm still doing it. My problem is my backhand is, you know, wherever I put it on the pole. And when I'm putting my, when the, the pole hits the back of the pit, my backhand slides down, which takes away quite a bit of, you know, vertical area to, to work with to get over. So, um, hopefully I can maybe try and uh, prevent that. I struggled with that, like I said, I struggled with that a lot in high school. If I would have just been able to not have my backhand slip, I probably could have gotten much higher heights because this pole, I believe, is like 13 feet. I forget. But in theory, right, if this is a 13 foot pole, I should be able to clear at least 12 feet without even having to bend the pole at all by just holding on and riding, riding the pole. But because my back hand was always slipping, I'm losing like a foot every time. back up and try again. That's one scratch. I got two more. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! So, uh, in very unfortunate news, um, the highest that I could potentially get, so, okay, so right now, I just cleared 10 feet, right? And if I was in a meet right now, they would move it up to 10 six. Um, assuming that I didn't just, like, beat everybody then I can move it up as high as I wanted but generally they go in half foot increments so typically right now I would go for um, 
I would try and go for 10-6 to try and tie my personal best. Um, however, apparently the, the, <laughs> the equipment is not uh, in the correct state to be able to move it up six inches because right now, right, everywhere there's a peg on this is a foot, right? Now, normally, you would pull this part up and, you know, if you get it to here, I don't know, that must be bottom peg is seven feet when this is right here, eight feet, nine feet, whatever, right? Well, those, this, this one, I, I can't turn the, the lock for it at all. I must just be rusted in there or something, I don't know. And the other, the other side doesn't even have one. <laughs> It's got a C-clamp, as you can see, haha. Uh -huh. But the C-clamp isn't even wide enough to fit around the thing to hold it up. So, um, I, I can only move up in uh, one foot increments from here. And on top of that, the highest I could go is only 11 feet. Now, I don't think I could really get higher than 11 feet anyways, I don't, I don't even think I can get 11 feet, which is kind of annoying because I wanted to at least clear 10 six to tie it. So now I just have to beat my personal best, which is gonna suck. Cause I've only got two scratches left and landing on the pole hurts and I don't want to do that. But I digress. Let's, uh, let's give 11 feet a shot, I guess. Okay, I've got one more scratch to try and clear this. I don't know. I'm not feeling good about it. He's not gonna clear it. I appreciate the confidence boost. I don't know if that counts as a scratch or not, but I'm not gonna count it. Oh, is that a karate kick? Are you karate kick? Oh, yeah! All right, well, I wasn't even close to 11 feet. Which is, which is all right. I mean, I haven't pole vaulted in a long time. Little disappointed that I couldn't try and at least tie it at like 10-6. I did technically in practice my senior, or my senior, my junior year when I did pole vault, um, I did technically unofficially get 11 feet, but that was with the bungee cord up and I was all over the bungee cord. So technically I got over it but it doesn't actually count. In meat though, in an actual meat, the highest I ever got was 10-6. So for now, I just, uh, as Toby Keith once said, ain't as good as I once was. But nevertheless, maybe I'll try and get back out here and film one more time and try and break it, who knows. But for now, thank you guys all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.